The Flash Season 5, Episode 19, titled Colpack. Now, this episode is basically a really good episode. Like, I had enjoy, I, I, I had some enjoyment out of it, but I had some problems with it. I found this episode a really good episode. I quite enjoy it with some great emotional scenes and definitely with the aftermath of Barry just picking up Nora and putting her back in her time and telling her because you work with Thorne and you didn't told me from the start I'm you are not allowed to go back in 2019 or any time when I'm alive you are not allowed to go back in time because of that there's a, that sense of rivalry between Iris and Barry I'm saying so Iris is like this is she's our daughter she's not just yours she's also mine and you didn't assault me over this and clearly, when it comes to Thorn, you can't think straight. You just are rashly. And because, and that opening scene is so well written and so well packed with emotion and well acted, amazingly acted, out out through it. I was like, damn, this is a damn good three minute scene. The the rest of the episode kind of picks up on it most of the time, but the stuff I had problems with was the main uh the villain of the week story where caitlin and caitlin's father kidnapping uh her and her mother and trying to make up ice family and that story i was like okay villain of the week okay let's just see how it goes mate like because when they introduce him you just wanted to just you thought it could be cool and him being a villain was just so cool gather they didn't handle it so when they showed him I'm like okay fine villain of the week and that but to be honest he's just there so we can have a couple cool action scenes and there are there's some really cool action scenes out through it um there's a, a nice uh ice chase between her uh between him and killer frost there's a cool fight scene between uh, Kill Frost and Caitlyn, uh, sorry, Kill Frost and Sakaya. So those scenes are pretty rad. That's basically why that story existed, so we can have a couple fight scenes. And it's well handled. Even though it didn't really make a lot of sense how it got resolved and how things kind of got fixed, you know, fixed with a tiny bow at the end, this is not felt natural and just didn't make a lot of sense uh, in it um but also Sakai showing up at the end kind of felt like trying us to remind us like oh yeah Sakai is the big bad don't forget we got like three episodes left like don't worry and it just felt like you could have saved her coming you got three episodes you got enough time to have the last moments of her Popping up, how the final showdown, and then setting up whatever the next season is. So, but also, the big problem I have with it is, I was is like, there's a scene when I was talks to Thorn. She goes, goes back in time, trying to get Nora and bring bring her back to uh, 2019. Where I was is like, oh, I trust Thorn, just like that. It's like, well, that, and I'm like, hold, hold on a second, Iris, hold on a second, Iris. You realize Thorn killed your husband's mother, right? Technically killed your friend. Became a Nazi, remember? When, when, when he fought, like, evil versions of your friends, you know, he was inside with, with them, like, you know, Crisis and FX. Remember that? And it's immediately you just like, oh, I can trust him. It just felt really just left field and completely 360 without a natural magnitude towards it. But yeah, here's the thing. I enjoy it. It had some really good scenes to the point I, I quite enjoyed this episode. 